The results of a well water analysis are given below. The difference between the sum of the cations and some of the anions are most nearly A, 0.4, B, 0.6, C, 0.8, or D, 1. Pause the video and give yourself five minutes to complete the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Today's lesson will focus on cations and anions. Cations and anions are both ions. The difference between a cation and an anion is the net electrical charge of the ion. Ions are atoms or molecules which have gained or lost one or more valence electrons giving the ion in a net positive or negative charge. If the chemical species has more protons than electrons, it carries a net positive charge. If there are more electrons than protons, the species has a negative charge. The number of neutrons determines the isotope of an element, but does not affect the electrical charge. Cations are ions with a net positive charge, while anions are ions with a net negative charge. Because they have opposite electrical charges, cations and anions are attracted to each other. Cations repel other cations, while anions repel other anions. For the formula of a compound, the cation is listed before the anion. For example, for sodium chloride, the sodium atom, Na, acts as the cation, while the chlorine atom, Cl, acts as the anion. When writing cation or anion symbols, the element symbols are listed first. Then the charge is written as a superscript following the chemical formula. The question wants the difference between the sum of cations and anions and the desired units are in milliequivalents or MEQs per liter. An equivalent is the amount of a substance that reacts with or is equivalent to an arbitrary amount of another substance in a given chemical reaction. The mass of an equivalent is called its equivalent weight and this is primarily driven by the molecular weight of the compound as well as its number of net electrons whether positive or negative. So let's get started. Let's group up the compounds with a net positive net charge in the cations and the ones with a negative net charge in the anions. To get the milliequivalent of each, we will take the concentration all divided by the compound's molecular weight divided by the number of net charges. In other words, the equivalent weight is a molecular weight per net charge. We do this and have the following. We add up both categories and we get a sum of 5.66 MEQ per liter for the cations and 4.9 MEQs per liter for the anions. We can now calculate the difference and we get 0.76 MEQ per liter, which is closest to C. Join us for episode 31 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks. 